Good morning. Let's now settle for some showbiz here on the AM show now. Uh, it's commonplace for many of us to serve the web and quickly download uh, creative content, be it music, movies, and other works of art. And, of course, for free. But doing that affects revenue generations for producers of such content. MTN says it's partnering Aftal Music, a platform where artists can have their music uploaded and consumers will be able to pay for a same using cashless money transfer platform mobile money. This, according to MTN, is to augment all the other channels uh, the telecom giant uh, has made available for creative to benefit from their intellectual property. Mm. Arts, when properly marketed, can be a huge source of revenue locally and internationally. Entertainment watchers will tell you. But for many decades, some creatives and other entertainers have not benefited much from their talents. Typical instances here in Ghana, many of Ghana's musicians of old have died in penury. Some turn to public support to foot some medical bills and the like. Well, as part of efforts to streamline the distribution of music and other creative works, Ghana's largest telecommunications company, MTN, has partnered a local music marketing app to ensure musicians earn the required revenues from their music. Senior Manager, Product and Services at MTN, Bless Sohonu Agojo, during the first MTN Digital Music Conference in Accra, revealed music audiences will now have the opportunity to purchase music via mobile money or even use airtime to stream music on the Aftown platform. MTN has taken over or has acquired a company called Simfy, for example, which is to take music distribution to a different level. These are different models that we are bringing into the market that will help our customers to be able to consume music at a price that is convenient for them and how they would want to consume it. A lot more people have access to mobile money or airtime as against um, uh, other payment channels. So we come in also in collaboration within the partners that we brought on board to provide a subscription model where you can use your airtime or you can use mobile money that almost everybody in Ghana have access to. He added the move by the network giant is to augment other platforms like MTN Music, MTN Play and the like to extend the reach of music to the remotest of areas in the country. We also brought together a local um, fully owned Ghanaian company that distributes music and so these are the opportunities that we are creating for the artists, producers and managers for them to be able to take advantage of these opportunities and then build a footprint that can cut across all our 22 uh, operators or more in the country. We have over 200 million subscribers as MTN that if um, we are able to help upscale the artists and their producers and the whole ecosystem, they will be able to take advantage of this um, um, number of uh, subscribers that we have within the MTN group. Mino, founder of a local digital music marketing platform, Aftown App and Music, Jefferson Senyaja, says since the creation of the app, several artists in Ghana have earned thousands of revenue by subscribing to get your music on the platform. Almost two years now, we've been generating revenue for almost all the biggest artists in Ghana. And we will continue to do that. Come, come, yes. You sign up. Is sign up is only two steps: email and password. Once you sign up, you top up your account using mobile money. You go and look for your favorite artists. A single can even go for 50 pesos as cheap as 50 pesos or even one CD. And that's what I even tell fan, uh, musicians all the time. Just imagine you have 5,000 followers on Twitter. Now, imagine turning those 5,000 followers into revenue and each and every follower buying your single for just one CD. You, with that, you can even pay for studio time. You can use that to pay your bills, whichever thing. So I want Ghanaian artists to start thinking differently when it comes to music that it's not just hyping stuff on social media, it's not just talking about having so many followers, but using these followers to generate funds locally. The Ghana Music Rights Organization, GAMRU, which for years has been berated for not being proactive, believes it is time for artists to properly assign roles for all members of their creative process to allow for proper monitoring, fee negotiation and royalty earning. Jonathan Kujo is with Gamro. Where you find an artist going to perform in National Theatre, for instance, and he's charged a fee. The fee is just for your performance. <laughs> you understand? Gamro goes in to charge for the composition, 
the uh, publication, and all the rest. And yet, the artist will say, oh, forget about Gavro. You are losing those revenue streams. The conference brought together persons from blogosphere and the media space, industry experts and some artists to discuss ways to proper market and distribute creative content for the digital space described as a new gold mine.